You just play normal pentatonics. I will play with a uh, distorted guitar, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and just like, uh, let me see what's gonna work. Okay, so um, <clears throat> basically my personal tip uh, for soloing here is um, play normal rock or pentatonic slicks in 16th notes. With, uh, basically I would uh, suggest hammer and pull of stuff like, this is a favorite lick, I do a repeating lick here. And this one here will be sound very nice. You can play long notes with this toy guitar, you can always play long notes like... And now you start to add some repeating pattern like this one here, like, but in six, and so again, one, two, three, dagger, 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 dagger. See, so. Oh, this kind of pull off flick, so. Just pentatonic in six, and so. Or the opposite. Or what is also cool. On the open G string, since we are in G, you just play the pentatonics like the same pattern but with pull of some. Oops. And then you can jump up. And with these few licks, you're really on pitch what we, what we want. And then just keep the normal soling, and when you move up, then you jump um, in high position, the position number one of the G minor pentatonics here, and then you can then you can start to go into the bendings and give this really tension, and then you have a cool guitar solo here with actually basic stuff, more or less basic stuff. Um, I mean, it's still, this is for the advanced plays, but still it's uh, basic, <laughs> you know what I mean. <clears throat> so we check it out, what I mean. So. Long notes, and we start to get freaky. Now we are up, now we go to the band. Again, the same pattern. So what, what was I doing? What was I doing? <laughs> Actually, I took this pattern which went up to make the bridge to go up in the high position, and then of course, then I, I made this intense bending, and then again the same repeating pattern as I play below. But in the high position, it sounds more crazy. And afterwards, I played again in a normal playing position. Then I can add some wah wah, and then we see it will be sounding great. Like. So, this is actually really cool stuff. And then I went back down over the pentatonics on the G string. And then I'm back down. That's what we want. Actually, <laughs> so I, I take it now on the 
far view that I can play in a normal position and use my effects the way I want. And then I can show you how it's meant. Uh, so I also can play relaxed. <laughs> you know, you know how hard it is for me to play soloing like in a totally not good position and still play uh, accurate. That's oh man, you cannot believe it how hard this is. <laughs> I suffer every time so much, and yeah, okay. <laughs> we go up. Now we go in the high. Now we go back. That's it, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't get frustrated uh, because it looks so easy uh, with me with soloing. <clears throat> Just get the idea of it. Um, playing 16 note with this hammer on pull of licks makes you to, uh, very easy or more easy to play fast than if you want to play the, with all pick notes. Actually, this is my main trick for you, my main advice. And yeah. Just try to check it out and keep it going. Um, a lot of students say the stuff looks very easy when I play it. It's not so easy as it looks, so don't get too frustrated. Just get the main idea behind it and work on the rhythm guitar because the rhythm guitar is the main topic today and soloing only for the advanced players, of course, or those who want to become advanced players. <laughs> okay, good luck with this lesson. We'll see us in one month.